Thomas, nein, vor Thomas. <lacht> it was winter on soda and it looked like it might snow. All the engines had to wear their snow plows. But Thomas didn't like to wear his snow plow. He tricked his driver into taking it off and hid it in the siding. That night, the snow covered Soto with a thick white blanket. In the morning, the engines puffed to work wearing the snow plows, all except Thomas. When the fat controller came to see Thomas, Thomas told him that he had lost his snowplow. The fat controller was not happy. Thomas, as you don't have your snowplow, you must stay in the shed, he said. The fat controller sent Emily to clear Thomas' branch line for him. Emily was cross. She wanted to stay snug and warm. grumbled Emily as she cleared the tracks. Then she saw lots of children playing in the snow. Some were riding sledges, some were rolling snowballs. Maybe snow can be fun, thought Emily. Emily was soon having so much fun that she cleared the tracks in no time. Good job, Emily, said the fat controller. You can take Annie and Clarabelle out on Thomas' branch line. Thank you, sir, Emily, peaked with pride. Emily chuffed back to the sheds. I'm taking Annie and Clarabelle out on your branch line, she told Thomas. But they are my coaches, Thomas grumbled. That's my job. Not without your snow plough, peeped Emily. Thomas was sad. He wanted to pull Annie and Clarabelle in the snow. I'll have to find my snow fluff, said Thomas, and he puffed quietly out of the sheds. Thomas looked for the siding where he had left his snow fluff, but none of the sidings had been cleared. When there was trouble, it started to snow again. Thomas puffed as hard as he could, but the snow was getting thicker. Soon Thomas was stuck. Oh no, oh help! I wish I had my snow plough, he wished with worry. No one will find me here. Then Thomas heard chopping and puffing. It was Emily 
shaking through the snow with the fat controller on board. Thomas, what are you doing here? Boomed the fat controller. You should not be out with out your snowplush. Thomas felt terrible. I hit my snowplush and now I can't find it. Emily tripped cheerfully. I found it. Thomas buried it in the snow. Thomas was very pleased to have his snowplush back. From now on, I always wear it in the snow, he creaked. said Emily puffing off down the tracks. I've got something to show you. Thomas and Emily stopped at the field where children were building giant snowmen and having snowball fights. Thomas was glad he hadn't missed out on all the fun. The end.